Hi everyone, let's discuss another problem. The problem is given a binary tree in which each node element contains a number, we have to find the maximum possible sum from one leaf node to another. So in the given example, the path sum from leaf minus 3 to 3 will be 7 and the path sum from leaf minus 3 to minus 1 is minus 2 and the path sum from leaf minus 1 to 3 is 9. So we have to return the maximum of them all. So the maximum sum will be 9. It can be solved in the linear time. The idea is for every visited node will find the maximum root to leaf sum in left and right subtree of that visited node and then we add those two values and the visited nodes data and compare the sum with the maximum path sum found so far and we have to make sure one more thing that if we are in this subtree we'll return either the left subtree plus roots data or the light right subtree plus rules data which will be the part of the bigger path if there will be any in a given binary tree. So next we'll see the pseudocode for it and then later we'll dry run that pseudocode on this given binary tree. So here's the pseudocode. The base cases will be when the root is none we'll just return zero and when the roots left is none and the roots right is none that means it's the leaf node then we'll return roots data and then later we'll do a recursion on the left and the right subtree and after the recursion so if we found a root whose left is not none and right is not none we'll find the maximum value by adding the return value from the left and right subtree plus roots data and will return either the max of ls plus root data or rs plus root data and if that roots left is none we will just return the return value from the right subtree plus root data or else the left subtree plus roots data when the right subtree is none so I have assigned the line number for easy understanding. So let's see how this pseudocode will work on the given binary tree. So we'll start from the root. Root is 5. And the call stack will put 5. We are at the line number 1. We'll check whether this root is none or not, which is it which is which is not. So we'll go to line number 2. Roots we'll check roots left and right. It's not a leaf node. It we won't do anything. We'll go to line number 3 and line number 3 is a recursive call. We'll go to roots left which is 2. Again it doesn't follow the 1 and 2. It again go to the line number 3 which is again a recursive call. It will go to minus 3. So minus 3 will now follow the line number 2 as minus 3 is a leaf node. So it will return roots data. So now this recursive call which is at line number 3 it returns roots data which is minus 3 so ls will get minus 3 here. So the recursive call now moves ahead it's going to go to line number 4. 4 is again a recursive call so roots right it will go to roots right so 2's right is minus 1. So it will again will follow the line number 2 as minus 1 is a leaf node so it will return roots data to rs so rs will gonna get minus 1 so now the call the execution gonna go ahead after line 4 and as 2 the 2's left is not none and 2's right is not none so it's gonna follow this condition so now result is the max of result comma ls plus rs plus root data which is going to be minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 2 it's going to give us minus 2 right and we're going to return the max of ls comma rs which is going to be minus 1 plus roots data which is 2 so we're going to return 1 
so this subtree is gonna return one so we were at the line number three for the recursive call so here it's gonna return ls as one so now it's gonna move ahead to line number four it's again a recursive call I'm gonna go to roots right roots right is three so three now will go to line number two and as three is a leaf node it's gonna return roots data so rs will gonna get the value three now it's gonna move ahead so five's right and left is not none it's again gonna follow this condition so results gonna be max of minus two comma ls plus plus rs which is four plus roots data which is five which is nine so results gonna store nine and it's gonna return some value and the execution will gonna end at the this step as it returns something so the result will hold the maximum path sum in the end so yeah that's it that's how we'll do the maximum path sum between two leaves in a binary tree and the this algorithm is a linear algorithm thanks